It's holy now. You've been through an ordeal. Take a few moments to collect yourself. Like you, I'm a prisoner in this place. Yet so much more. I am the past and the future, both. I am despair and hope. The tapestry we weave is a complex one. You cannot hope to see its pattern in its entirety. Not yet. You must rescue me, and I, in turn, must rescue you. You must escape from this cell, take up arms, and protect yourself. Then find Lyris Titan. meat on your bones than most of these poor bastards, and I see you've armed yourself. Good. I hope you've still got some fight left in you. You're going to need it. A fellow prisoner. The name's Lyris. What? Who told you to find me? The Prophet! He spoke to you? What did he say? Ha <laughs> ha! That sounds like the Prophet alright. He's a prisoner here too. It was very dangerous for him to speak to you, even for a moment. You must think you can help me. Break him out, of course. Believe me, I can use all the help I can get. Besides, that strange old man is the only person alive who can help us get back home. Tamriel's a long way from here. Keep your weapon ready and stay sharp. This place is full of surprises. I'm sure you do. 
and I'll answer them as best I can. He's a strange one, no doubt about it, but he's the wisest man I've ever met. He sees things, past, future. If he told you to find me, he must have had a very good reason. You're obviously not in Tamriel anymore. Think of the most miserable, depressing place you've ever been in your life. That's paradise compared to Cold Harbor. And to top it off, well, there's no easy way to say it. You're dead. I wish I could tell you. Once we rescue the Prophet, I'm sure he'll be happy to tell you all you want to know about the gods and the ways of oblivion. I don't understand any of it myself. Servants of the Deirdre Prince, Molag Bal. It's some kind of ritual they're doing back in Tamriel. They're killing scores of people, everyone you see here. After you're dead, whatever's left shows up here. They call you the Soul Shriven. It means you're a slave and you'll spend the rest of eternity here on Cold Harbor, working under the lash of the Deirdre. Unless, of course, you come with me. No, I wasn't sacrificed. The Prophet and I were brought here, conventionally, if that makes any sense, but we're prisoners here, same as you. We need to make our way through the Ashen Mines to get to the enclosure where the Prophet's being held. It won't be easy. The place is watched by magical constructs called Sentinels. We won't stand a chance unless we can blind them. I'll tell you more when we get there, and we'll never get there if we don't get moving. Eventually take us to the Towers of Eyes. That's where we'll find the Sentinel. There is Titan born as a mighty and noble warrior. Trust in her. Sentinels are at the top of those towers. We need to find a way up. Magical constructs created by Molag Bal to guide his vision in Cold Harbor. The Sentinels are connected. If we destroy one, the others will be blinded. With any luck, that will buy us the time we need to free the Prophet. I have no idea. Brute force? We'll find a way. We have to. Be ready for anything. I doubt Molag Bal left the Sentinels unguarded.
God of brutality knows of your escape. Hurry. Destroying the Sentinel must have triggered these wards. We need to find another way in. Oh, maybe Cadwell can help us. Cadwell is the oldest of the Soul Shriven. After years of torment, Soul Shriven usually go insane and turn feral. But not Cadwell. He was already insane before he left Tamriel. Mad as a box of frogs, but completely harmless. Let's see. Cadwell sees things as he wishes them to be. To him, Cold Harbor is a wondrous place. It's his home, and he knows it like the back of his hand. He's usually down by the river. Let's go find him. Out for a stroll, then? Lovely day for it. Sir Cadwell, yes, indeed, a pleasure. And fair Lyris, good to see you, my dear. How are you, then? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Well, that is inconvenient, isn't it? Tell you what, I happen to know another way in. Much more of a scenic route. Rather a fun little jaunt, actually, full of traps and corpses and nasty beasties filling up the bits in between. Rather cautiously, I expect. Watch your step, hold your nose, and do mind the traps. The like as not be a fair dose of running and skull bashing as well. Follow the river. You'll find the door to the undercroft at the water's end. Once you're inside, stick to the light, and you'll find a ladder that will take you right up to the prophet straight away. Do give him my best. Best of luck. Do check in now and again, won't you? Well, there's not much to tell, is there? It's the same old pish-tosh, gallant knight, epic quests, rescued maidens. <laughs> I came to this land when my head was quite unceremoniously separated from my body. Bad luck, that, but uh, you make the best of things. Oh, quite a long time. In fact, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if I was the oldest of the soul shriven, of those who didn't go feral, then. I know every tunnel and path, every nook and cranny. The others look up to me, I suppose. Ah, Lyris, girls as mad as sheer gorus and jammies. Heart's in the right place, I suppose. Says she's got to rescue the prophet to save us all from eternal torment. How an old blind man could do that is quite beyond me. An imperial gentleman. Apparently he was once a powerful mage, but the years haven't been kind. Lyris says he knows of a path back to Tamriel. I rather think that if one existed, I'd have found it by now. I haven't actually given it much thought. Uh, anything's possible, I suppose. Truth is, I've been here so long, this place feels like home. But a good uprising now and again is a pleasant diversion, so where's the harm, eh?
joking, was he? This place stinks of death and decay. Prophet's cage should be just ahead. Quickly now! We haven't much time! 